In this video, we're going to take a quick look at using the typewriter tool in Kofax PDF. The typewriter tool is located in on two different ribbons. It's on the home ribbon here, and you can see in the tools group, typewriter, the typewriter tool. It's also located on the edit ribbon in the modify group, the typewriter tool. I'm going to return to the home ribbon and use it from there. To use the typewriter tool, what I wish to do is to fill in this information here in this PDF. I click the typewriter tool. When I do, I get the typewriter format options, that which appear in the upper left corner here. I simply, my, my mouse turns into an eye bar and I click. And I can add, I can begin to type a last name. I can highlight the text I've entered, and I can change the font, the size. I can perhaps drag the drop down, select Times New Roman, and then I can make this Times New Roman 12. If that were the default I want to use, I click Set Default, and that's what I'd have it. When I'm finished, I click the hand tool to disengage typewriter tool. When you use the typewriter tool, it creates a text box that goes from where you start it to the edge of the document. And you can resize that box, you can move it around. Once you've selected the hand tool, reselect the typewriter tool, click into the text you have entered, and notice that the text box appears, and I can resize it and, and if it does not allow you to select it again, which on occasion I've noticed it does, I can reselect the hand tool, re-engage the typewriter tool, click back onto the text, and then I can grab this and I can move it about and place it wherever I wish. While it's selected, if I wish to delete it, I can press the delete key. When you are finished with the typewriter tool, always remember to select the hand tool to disengage to turn off the typewriter tool. I can turn back on the typewriter tool. I can click near or on first name, and I can add the first name. And again, I can highlight. And as you can see, it is not cooperating. So again, disengage with the hand tool, re-engage the typewriter tool, click onto this box, and I can then select the text from there. Again, I can select a different font type, again a different size, set it as the default if I wish. When I'm done, disengage with the hand tool. I wish to move it around, again, click the typewriter tool, select, resize, and go from there. Again, you the key is to, once you're done selecting the hand tool, return to the typewriter tool, and then reselect if you have to. And again, I can press my delete key, or I could move this up, maybe my last name is John, etc. So, and again, once you're done, turn off the typewriter tool. Finally, again, I'm just going to select the typewriter tool. Again, I'm just going to click Enter. I can then highlight, if I could, turn off, turn back on the typewriter tool, select, change the font again if I have to, Again, you can set the default, as I said. I can just reset this, turn off the typewriter tool, and if I wanted to move it around, reselect, resize, etc. And again, I can simply I'll turn that off, turn it back on, and then reselect. I can select my delete key, and that's done. 
One of the things that you'll need to remember when using the typewriter tool is one to always turn off the typewriter tool by reselecting the hand tool in the upper left corner here. But if you wish to send this document, save it and send it, and so that no one can edit your typewriter tool, if you send it and don't do this, the typewriter tool will be active for anybody that wishes to re-edit. You need to go to advanced processing and the advanced processing ribbon and you'll want to flatten the file. This embeds the text that you've entered with the typewriter tool into the document and you can select what you wish to embed and then click OK and now once you save it it is now part of the document and cannot be accessed using the typewriter tool. So Again, typewriter tool is located on the home ribbon and on the edit ribbon. Again, you click the typewriter tool, click where you wish to enter the information, enter the information, and disengage the typewriter tool. And if you need to move it around or edit it or do anything, select the typewriter tool again, click into the text you have entered, and if you need to resize the bot, resize the box, move it around, do whatever you need to do, or again, press the delete key. It is gone. When you are finished, make sure you turn off the typewriter tool with the hand and consider flattening the file from advanced processing and saving before you send it. I hope you found this helpful, and as always, thank you for watching.